Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. I made some money and this is Sportsbook Robbery. So uh, 23rd of August, 823-24. Got three games on the slate. Call this a bounce back day. Gonna bounce back like a basketball. Uh, I used to incorporate this in my videos, and then I started cutting it out because people would fast forward it. But our lines are very important in the game. Check spreads. You see line movement, everything else. I'm not going to go deep into it, but I just wanted to bring that up. This is the, one of the first things I do before I even check any props. Uh, you see where the line started at, and you see where they're at now. Obviously, it changes. So, uh, spread stayed the same, basically. Actually, it's down to minus three, plus three. Over on, there's about the same. Second game opened at plus three and a half. It went up a little, plus four and a half, plus five and a half. And third game, Suns are a sky. Very similar, except you see a big spread, so it'll definitely blow out potential. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show that. All right, so first up, Rakia Jackson rebounds over four and a half. Uh, plus, I played it last night. I dropped it in the community, all my plays, just so you guys can get a head start in case lines change. Right now, FanDuel got it at minus 110. Uh, I recommend multiple books. Like, you see BetMGM got it at plus 110. So if you get it at plus 110, definitely do that. Uh, playing Washington. Washington's ranked eighth overall in rebounds. You check it out to the forward position. They're ranked ninth. You get a little worse. 12 teams in the WNBA. Last five games, she's cleared this four out of five. Connecticut's a good rebounding team. Vegas isn't, believe it or not, but she's still cleared it. Chicago, you know, they got good rebounders, but they're not a great rebounding team. Seattle is. Liberty is, you know, decent. But uh, four out of five, she's exceeded four out of five in seven of the last eight games versus the bottom five defense for rebounds. If you've been watching the channel, you know we've been riding with Rakia. Uh, I usually play your points as well. They're catching on. People are catching on. YouTube videos are catching on. So uh, they bumped the line up. It's at 13 and a half. Not too comfortable with it at 13 and a half. That's around what she scores. We were clearing that 11 and a half. 12 and a half, I played it a few times. But 13 and a half. I mean, Washington, she could possibly go over it, but I feel more comfortable with her rebounds. So I'm just sticking with her rebounds. Uh, she grabbed a couple offensive. And uh, Vegas game, we got lucky. She caught all these, all defensive. Most of the rebounds are defense. But uh, that number five was like 40 seconds left, the offensive rebound. And then she cleared her points, too, because she got – it was like 20 seconds left, and she didn't care. They were down by like 10, and she wouldn't fucking score. Turned a bad day into an okay day. But uh, Rakia Jackson, over four and a half rebounds. Let's get it. All right, next up, next up. Stephanie Dolson. Uh, rebounds over five and a half. You know, if you guys have been betting with me or even just betting by yourself, you know this WNBA is reckless. Go, people have one day. I mean, that's the way the winning and losing comes into play. You got to judge when these people are going to fall off and not be themselves. Like, it's crazy. One day they're shooting 12 shots, the next day they're shooting three. No effort. Like, I don't know. It's, it kills me sometimes. But, uh. So I'm sticking with rebounds with these two. Uh, 
Dolson over five and a half. We've catched her before. Plus 103. That's what I got at last night. Uh, that's what it's at. I did get a plus money, actually, last night. Hopefully, you placed it when I dropped it in the community. It's at minus 104 right now. FanDuel. But uh, it's saying here that Shakira Austin might not play. She just returned. She had hip surgery a while ago. Came back after the Olympic break. But uh, she's dealing with an illness, as it says. And Dolson might get more more minutes. Uh, Dolson's the center. She gets around 25 minutes a game. Let's see what she gets. 26. The last five, she's averaging 27. But uh, you see, she cleared this four to the last five. Last 10 games, 60% hit rate. Last 20, 60% for the year, 52% hit rate. Um, playing Los Angeles, they're sixth in rebounds allowed to the center position. They're ranked 12th. Stephanie Dolson has exceeded eight and a half, uh, five and a half rebounds, eight of the last 10 games, averaging six. So, uh, Morocco, uh, she usually gets a couple in the beginning, first two quarters. I mean, and then those last two drag it out. But uh, Washington, uh, Washington, uh, Los Angeles, psh, don't shoot too well. What's their field goal percentage? Uh, field goal percentage eleventh, eleventh. So uh, there'll be some missed balls and missed opportunities, and she'll grab a couple O's too. Always mean in offensive rebounds. Nothing crazy. But uh let's get it. Seventy dollars five and a half. Cheers. See that? Let's go Bills. Football's less than two weeks away. I can't wait. All right, Jordan Canada rebounds over three and a half. Minus 144, they got it at now. Uh, played it last night. There's definitely better odds than this, but I'd still rock with it. She's going to cash it. Uh, four out of the last five. We played her. Actually, let me get into that spiel. Phoenix is uh, 12th, last place in rebounds allowed. To the guard position, they're ranked 11th. I noticed this a while ago, a few months ago, that the guards always get a lot of rebounds. I noticed it one day when Clark was playing them. And then I uh, started sticking with it, so I find a decent guard, a guard who's decent at rebounding and uh, who shows effort and has got integrity cares about their job <laughs> but uh we just played this the other day a lot of that you know sometimes it's tough when teams play each other back to back like this one after the other because it's adjustments just like we seen that liberty game and it fucked us but uh well it fucked us was jones decided not to play basketball and didn't want to shoot it's like they know they align and just don't like to go over it like they're against sports betting but, uh, yeah, she cleared this pretty easily. She had five. I don't expect her to get much more than that, but uh, she should go over it. This three, four, five, what is that? This for the year. So, she grabs offensive and defense. She's exceeded three and a half for the last five games. I liked what I seen, and uh, it's a little, like I said, it's a little remedy I've been rocking with. So at three and a half, I'll play it. If it was four and a half, don't play it. Even though I wouldn't play at four and a half. Three and a half is good to go. How many minutes is she playing? 30? Yeah, 30 minutes. Let's get it. Jordan Canada. Her assists are good, too, except they got it high. You can find her assists at five and a half, six. Take it. Six plus, not over six. 
I mean, she possibly could go over it, but uh, it'd be close. All right, Canada, let's get. All right, next up, I'm going Carrington. Points over 11 and a half. Minus 128 in FanDuel. Playing in Chicago, sixth overall. Points allowed to the guard position. They stay at sixth. Uh, playing in Connecticut. Last 10 games, 70% hit rate. She got the potential to score a decent amount. 16, as you see, 16 and above. She had a couple rough rough days here. But uh, versus Los Angeles, she seemed like herself. Uh, good defensive player as well. She grabs some boards. I love when, uh, when they start vibing and, and they start playing defense. Because when they start scoring, they start playing defense. And she's a good defensive player. Um, last 10 games, shooting 40%. Just about 40% from three, hitting around one. Uh, she 80% from uh, free throws. For the year, she's uh, 65% over this line. So uh, she looked good last game, so hopefully she keeps it up. Um, check out her little shot chart. You know, Mabry's over there, right? And, and I was, uh, I've was i been batting Mabry for a while. But uh, she got traded from Chicago. I, I don't think it was a bad trade, but there might be some... Uh, I feel like you know, I'll bet her more when I laid off because last game I bet her re, uh, assists and hold on, let's check this out and get it in a second. You can see where this is where Carrington shoots from 56% under the basket, 16%, 3% mid east, 24% behind there. And then you can see where they play defense. They're 11th and there, which is almost last, and that's where she shoots most of her points. Um, also, they both play at a fast pace, pace rank seventh, everything, all the signs point to go with her, should be able to score, but back to me, Avery, uh, she could go over her lines, they got her assist at three and a half, uh, I've been playing that forever. Last game was the first game. She didn't cash it. Uh, I just don't know how they're going to use her. She just seemed off last game. It was like a second or third game with the Suns. So I'm going to lay off it until I know more. But could be a good time to bet her with her going against her old team. I think it might be better when they play in Chicago. But uh, I'm going to lay off it for now, and I'm going to rock with Carrington. I wanted to bet her last time, and I changed it at the last minute, and uh, hopefully I don't misread this either. Carrington over 11 and a half. Your notifications on, this way you get my plays, my live bets, my videos, my info, anything I do, I try to be as transparent as possible. Uh, sports betting is a marathon, it's not a sprint. So like plays like this one, for instance, Carlton, three is over two and a half, plus 140. If you've been watching, you know we've been playing her for a while. Uh, I've been playing her since like over here. Now, I lay off it sometimes. Sometimes I hit it, sometimes I miss it. But it's definitely been profitable. As you see, she don't really miss twice in a row. Back here, her minutes weren't the same. We weren't even playing her back there. But, uh, I mean, it's ticked up a little, but that's besides the point. Uh, for the year, 46%. Let me drop it to the last five. Let's 
excuse me, we missed it here, but she really hit it. There was, it was a whole bunch of chaos happening that game. We, we always bet Smith's rebounds, too. Smith got in foul trouble. was acting reckless. She caused the foul. She dished it out. Carlton hit a second three, and they took it away. And then she hit a third three, but it was really only her second. We never catched it. But uh, they're playing at home. I got faith in her. This girl can shoot the rock. Um, she's exceeded two and a half threes in four of the last five games at home. Let's show her home games. Oops. Four of the last five at home. She's went over this. What else we got? What else we got? Yeah, I'm rocking with it. Until she shows me something different, I'm not, I'll, I'll lay off it. Like I said earlier, you got to, sometimes you got to pull back. Uh, she missed it. I know she ain't happy. She's going to go for it. Um, I also was going to play a rebounds. I took it off at the last second. They got him at three and a half. She's averaging about four. So it would be a close one. Four out of the last five, she's gone over that too. Last 10 games, 70%. Last 20, 65. Head to head, 71 for the year, 60%. So if you're looking for another play, you can play her rebounds. Uh... Aces are 10th in rebounds allowed to the forward position in their last place. So it's possible she could, she could hit it. I just had a lot a lot of bets. But, uh, yeah, Bridget Carlton, let's get a comeback. Bounce back like a basketball over two and a half threes. Let's get it. Oh, hold up. What's she shooting? She's shooting over 40%, I think. Where is it? 41% these last five games. For the year. Forty-five percent she's shooting for the year. With ten and a half. I should have said this before. Minnesota is playing Vegas. They just played them. So it is a back-to-back -back game, one day rest between them. Um, minus one twenty-five. Vandal. She went way over this last game. When I we played the last game too. Uh, been watching her. She started doing real good again. Look, being more aggressive. Uh, she does get a lot of assists, too. She killed their assists. I think she had a double-double with assists last game. So it's something else you could look at. I was going to play a PRA or points and assists, but, like, they bump it up one, so it kind of didn't make sense. But uh, Vegas doesn't defend well against a mid-range. And, excuse me, and Williams shoots really good from a mid-range. It's clear the sum of the last three games, obviously, but sixty percent of her shots for the year are in the mid range. On his defense, last place in the mid range, all this area. And she just dribbles up. She's a good point guard. She ought to dish it out or she'll just pop it. She's been killing it. Uh, by position, 53% hit rate for players that play her position. So, so all the reasons why we played it last time, I'm going to play it again. They may make adjustments, but. Uh, Minnesota's got a good team, and uh, she can shoot. So as long as she being aggressive and she's on ten and a half. If it was like fourteen, I'd say no. But ten and a half, she's gonna go over it. 
Let's cash it again. Back to back. Corny Williams points 10 and a half. Gray points under eight and a half. Uh, minus 132 FanDuel, 130 BetMGM. Uh, playing Minnesota, great defensive team. Ranked two in points allowed overall to the guard position. Still ranked second. Notice this play a while ago. Uh, like I said earlier, sports betting is like it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So if you can find plays that have sh like streaks and runs, you usually play them every day and you could be profitable. Now, this is for the year. Four times she's only gone over this number. Sometimes she gets close. Uh, kind of mad at myself. I was going to play this last game. This matchup's real good. And Minnesota's great on defense. And she's really not looking to score. But uh, I didn't. And then I was like, you know what? Let me play it. I hope it don't backfire. But uh, yeah, for the year, she's gone under this, what, 73% of the time. Last 10, 70%. Last 5, 80%. So, I'm liking it. Uh, she don't put up many attempts, seven attempts, averaging 40%. This for the year. Uh, hitting about three shots. You know, one foul shot. So, she's been going under it. She's failed to exceed eight and a half in five of the last six games, averaging six points. So, I mean, obviously, potential of going over it, yeah. But law of averages says she's not gonna. So I'm a rock with it. Chelsea Gray points on the eight and a half. Uh, you know, sports betting. I hate to say it's a flip of a coin, but sometimes it is. I mean, you do all this research and everything, and then I mean they're human, so you can't know what they're gonna do. Uh, and unfortunately, WNBA, it's a little more difficult than other sports just because, you know, sometimes it's so hot and sometimes it's so cold and it's at the flip of a dime. But uh, let's bounce back like a basketball. You know, whether you win or lose, try to keep emotions out of it. Everything stays the same. Your bet size stays the same. Um, you know, if you lost yesterday, because I know I did, I give every play I give you, I bet. It doesn't mean raise up your bet size today to try to make up for it. Even on the winning days, you treat it all the same. Uh, always line shop, have multiple books, odd shop. Find it to take the best advantages as you can. And let's get it. East money to name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. Like, subscribe. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.